ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sam Roberts Wrestling Podcast. Introducing your host from New York, here is Sam Roberts. And the monster among men has arrived. What's the half Braun Strowman? Yeah, just taking it all in, man. Uh, this whole week is just unreal. Like I'm getting really amped up for Sunday and stuff. Just been out eating the food and trying to get a little rest and Bourbon Street's not wanting to let me do it. But <laughs> enjoying the whole process of everything. New Orleans is such a fun city and it's just, yeah, it's WrestleMania week, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's here. What do you credit? I mean, you've had kind of this incredible evolution over the last like year, really, I mean, a year and a half, maybe. Yeah, a year since the draft, really. Yeah, 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 yeah I would agree with that. But it, it started with just like this character being built and you going through James Ellsworth and the run of en yeah. enhancement guys. But it's gone way beyond that to the point where like in the ring, it's not just a character, it's you developing. Yes, right? and yes. What do you, what do you credit that to? A lot of it is is WWE's creative really hitting the nail on the head with everything that we do, and then a lot of it has to do with just my work ethic. I I want to be the best. I, I don't believe in going out and competing for second place. If I can't be the best at something, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's stuck in the back of my head. I, I had that mentality when I competed in World's Strongest Man, and I brought that mentality over here. I'm going to be a WWE Hall of Famer. I'm going to main event WrestleMania. And that's just the, the fact of it, and I believe that attests to why and where we are now with the character. So do you, when you, when you get a WrestleMania like this where you're in a, a story about the Tag Team Championship, do you feel like, oh, I should be main eventing, or are you going like, this is, I got a great story going in right now. I got plenty of time. To I got. That's this. the thing. Everyone's like, oh, you should be in the main event title picture. I said, no. I was like, I just, I'm just getting started. I'm just wetting my beak right now. Right. I said, we got a lot more to do. And why why, why, why rush everything right now? I said, the, the machine's behind me. The, the universe is behind me. Let's enjoy this. Let's have fun. Let's go out there and we'll do it together. Yeah. And that's what's been great. I mean, that's, that's the way I feel. That's what's been great about your, your rise is that not, you, you leave us wanting more. You know what I mean, yeah. and that's how longevity gets yeah. built. Yeah, and I think that that's what's and, happening. And, and that's the that's the whole the key of the thing. Like uh, I, I, Vince McMahon is a genius, and he has been very hands on with the development of Braun Strowman and the stunts that we do, and all the segments and everything, and 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 it's working. Yeah. I mean, it's there. There's no if, ands, or buts. It's working. And I'm enjoying the process. I'm having such an amazing time, like traveling around the world, uh, entertaining my fans and seeing the kids and everything. It's it's really humbling to me because I'm a, a country boy from a little town in Cheryl's Fort, North Carolina. And I just, man, I, I got an unbelievable job. Yeah, yeah. And especially now. And, and you're, you're, you're so right about, it, or at least what it seems like, in terms of Vince McMahon's uh, interest in hands-on nature. I remember I was at the Raw... Uh, where the where you tipped over the ambulance, which was one of the first big stunts yep. that you did, and I mean I get there and before the show, Vince is right there yep. looking at the ambulance. How are we going to do the whole thing? Like and and it's just so refreshing to see somebody that's the top of this company that is so massive getting his hands yeah. on, on on it to that level. And 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 that's the thing like. Every big stunt that you've seen, and he's been there. And it's funny because a couple of times uh, we've had to edit him out because he makes the accidental Stan Lee appearance <laughs> in the thing and steps out. And you go, oh, and you see him step out, and he goes back out. But yeah, and it's and it, it is. He, he steps out from meetings and everything, trying to put Raw together to get out there to make sure everything is perfect and how he wants it. And then it's come off, and that's why it's working. That's going to give you an incredible amount of confidence that. Not only do you have this vision of your character and you like where it's going right now, but you know that Vince McMahon has this vision. Because if, if, if he didn't have a vision for your character, he's not sitting there. The reason he's, I would imagine, he's watching every detail of those stunts is because he already sees them in his head. Yes, and, you know, that, he knows he, why. and, that, and that's with everything. And, I, and that's why another reason why I work so hard is because, I, one, I don't want to let my fans and family and stuff down, but also the man that has invested everything he pretty much he took a shot in the dark with me when i debuted it was the eighth time i'd ever wrestled yeah and i mean and it was it was it was crazy because you were in nxt but not in it you were at the yeah. performance center yeah you'd been on tv yeah. you'd been and on they, they did a they kind of kept me hush hush and 
We did. They brought me in with the Wyatt family, which was amazing for me. It was. It allowed me to work on my weaknesses and polish out my game and, and develop into the monster among men. And then basically the draft, they they pulled us apart and they took me to the deep end of the pool and he kicked me in the butt and said sink or swim. But it was nice because it took time. Like it was months yeah. of you with enhancement talent. Yep. Like it was not like. Two weeks of enhancement talent, and now he's going to beat up the champion. Yeah. He's like, no, yeah. we're going to really and that, establish that We did this. such a good job with callousing the audience to when you hear the roar that you know stuff's about to go down. Right. Braun's coming out, and something's getting destroyed. <laughs> Someone's getting destroyed, and we're going to have fun doing it. Yeah, you just get excited for it. Has, do you do, Have you worried about any of the stunts? Because with stunts like that, they go in one of two ways. It either looks awesome or it looks like a cheesy movie. Yep. And I think so far, the vast majority, if not all of them, have been awesome. Yeah. And you and you, I think you get that response yeah. from the fans. Yep. You know when it works. Um, do you wor- have you worried it at all about any of them? I, like, I, I've ah. had a couple of them that I've, I've when we were talking about it when they were trying to, excuse me, um, basically run it through, run it by me, the ideas, and I'm trying to visualize it, and I can, and I'm kind of, uh, but then again, that's what I still, I, I take the step back and I go, this is coming from Vince, and I know that what he's thinking isn't exactly what I'm thinking, and I don't want to overthink this till I get to talk to him and we we sit down and iron everything out, and then I go, my God, I didn't even think of that. How do you – you're – like, it blows my mind how creative he is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, at what point did you guys all realize that Braun Strowman's a good guy? He's a baby face. Like, like, <laughs> like you know, I, I kind of – for me – Way early on, I was like, I'm watching this dude. And, like, because I know how I feel about the character. Yeah. And I can hear how the audience feels about the character. I'm like, there's no way he's a bad guy. He's just not. It, it, and that was the thing. They, I wanted to be a bad guy. They wanted me to be a bad guy. And I don't know. I guess it was just with my less talk, more physical mentality of everything, of going out there and just wreaking havoc. And it was something that the people grabbed a hold of. I don't know if it's because everybody at some point in their life has frustrations where they just want to just destroy everything that's around them. Because let's be honest, it feels good when you can blow off some steam. (laughs) And in real life, you can't do what I can do. And I get to take a lot of my frustrations of traveling and stress and this and that out when I get to go out there in the ring. Because some of these stunts that I do are really me being that physical. Like when I'm throwing human beings, I'm throwing human beings. So it, it and it, when Kurt Hawkins goes through a wall, when I throw Kurt through. Hawkins through a wall, he's going through a wall. So yeah, and it's just like, and I think about it, and and yeah, I am this big, scary, larger than life human that you would think would be terrifying. But I think as a kid, like to myself, like what what I would think of Braun when I was little Adam. And uh, I think, like, man, you know, I would be terrified, but at the same time, I would want to see every week what Braun is going to come out and do because week after week after week, he comes out and he does something that makes all of us go, wow. Yeah. And that's what I want to continue to do, and that's why I said the whole with rushing into the, the title picture and all this and that. Like, we got – I got time. You're like, always I, doing your own thing, right? Like, yeah. You don't need – Titles over here, titles over there. It's like a, a bronze segment is a bronze segment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a. Uh, 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 where did you learn to throw a grappling hook? Was that like multiple? <laughs> that hits? was. That's one shot. That was, I was watching. It was that's that's one shot. It no was edits. luck of a draw. <laughs> I, sometimes I uh, I just get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's also uh, uh, the coolness factor, right? Like there's just something. Yeah, it's just it, that like, it's that holy. Yeah. S-H-I, you know the rest yeah. of it factor. Um, and it's just, yeah, and that's the thing with what we've done is is condition the audience to th- just to want more. What's next? What else can he do? And and I love it. And now they're, they're, I'm having longer matches. I'm more comfortable with all that. I can go out there and work 30, 40 minutes with anybody on the roster, and I, and I have fun doing it. Who helped get you there to the point where you could do 30, 40? Was it – Doing the house show loop for as long as you did with Roman was it? Was yeah, we're, was that what it was? the the long matches definitely uh, uh, Roman that, that, and that was us because yeah every night for three nights a week on the house shows we were going out there doing last man standings for a half an hour main event every night and that's where I learned how to pace myself how to put it together a match that tells a story that 
keeps the audience on the edge of their seat or on their toes for the whole time. And, and, and it really attests because that's the same. Roman's work, work ethic is just like mine. We're both here to make the product better because when we work together as a unit behind the scenes, it shows in the WWE Universe season and they appreciate it. And we're like, houses are up. We are selling out everything because the product is so good right now with everyone. We're so diverse from top to bottom in the roster, and, and it's just it's fun. It's an enjoyable process. I love seeing everybody having fun. We're selling out arenas, having unbelievable crowds, and it's just been amazing. Do you get competitive with a guy like that who has the same attitude of, like, well, I want to be the best. Only one guy is going to be the best, or do you end up having this amazing work together because regardless of which one of us is the best, we both want to have the that, best that's, that's That's exactly it. That's, that's Roman and I to a T. We both want to go out there and we want to – we give it an oral. It doesn't matter if we're in Des Moines, Iowa, or wherever, Joe Blow, Kansas – we're going to go out there and give you 100%. We're going to give you our bodies. We're going to put our bodies on the line because you paid your hard-earned money to come and get away from reality. And we're taking you away from reality. And that's why we work so hard is because I know what it's like in the hustle and bustle and stress of everyday life. And I have my thing that I like to go and do. And I pay a lot of money and I work hard for it. And I don't want to go out there and have a, a, a subpar product. And I that's why I want to work so hard is because they they, they deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get back to the grappling hook. <laughs> Did you... Were there, were, there, were there practice throws before? So no, you, so that was one take. Have you done it in your, in your life? I threw a grappling hook like in Boy Scouts or something <laughs> when I was like 10. But other than that, like. They're just like, well, Braun can do it. He's yeah. Braun. <laughs> if anyone can do it, Braun can. <laughs> do you, when you're doing stuff like that, like when, when you're doing just like the, I'm going to throw guys around, how do you do it in a way that, you know, I got to. I have to protect these guys, but at the same time, like the most important thing here is that this looks yeah. really like a so monster. It, 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 there's a fine razor's edge that I have to walk, especially with TV of of the being too too much and, and not enough. And I everyone knows that everyone that works the same way. When the red lights on, the red lights on. Right. So it's a little different on the house shows and stuff like that. But like when the camera's on and it's time to be the monster. I'm the monster. Yeah, you gotta be the monster. You better know how to move your body yeah. because it's moving. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> your body's moving. Um, well, Braun, uh, I I appreciate you being here. Uh, and I'll tell you the thing that I think is such a Braun Strowman appeal to a guy like uh, Vince McMahon or whoever or the WWE. Like, what makes you valuable is that you have the thing of when people who are not WWE fans leave the show. They're gonna be like, oh, I like that big guy. Yeah. I like that guy that was yeah. throwing guys around. And and then that's 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 the whole WWE mantra, I believe. I my character and guys like me are what put us on the map originally is these larger than life human beings. And yeah, I can't do some of the stuff that the smaller guys do, but that's why I said we're so diverse and athletes from top to bottom that we have something for everyone. It right. doesn't matter what style of wrestling you like, we have it. And that's why we're number one in the game. Right. Like, my dad's going to watch and go, like, oh, that big guy with the mohawk. I like him. Yeah. 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 Was the mohawk your idea? Or were, were they, like, were, were, the, the hair? The, the hair was my idea. Because it was brilliant. It was this little change that was, like, he's not in the Wyatts anymore. Yep. He's his own guy. Well, Braun, have a great weekend, man. Yes, sir. And I appreciate you giving me some time. No problem. Thank you. Cool, man.